Forex trading as a business. Let's get into the details and I can show you the major tax benefits and tax savings. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. This is all for entertainment. However, the intent behind this, as you read the disclaimer, I want you to become aware that what I'm going to do is open your mind to the possibilities and give you the terminology and the ideas so you can move forward and actually turn trading foreign currency into a business. Let's look at this. Three takeaways from this video. Number one, short and fast overview of what Forex is and how it works to earn you an income. It is, and I'll prove this, the best business model on the internet today. Next, we'll compare Forex as a business to other popular online business models. And in particular, we'll look at and we'll compare it to a business model that I did myself for over 20 years called affiliate marketing. And next, how to make or save a ton of money even if you never succeed at Forex. That'll be an interesting one. And at the end, I'll show you how you can start a Forex business with zero, zero Forex knowledge and skip any form of manual trading, which is what the internet's teaching you. Unfortunately, it's not the best way to do it. But we'll do this by getting profitable trades sent directly to your account. It's done for you. So Forex overview. The number one, this is so simple. The number one thing you do is you bet on a currency pair, either increasing in price or decreasing in price. You actually make money if you buy and you sell. Now it's all done on margin and leverage and it's all built into any brokerage account and you can set one up for free. But in all basic senses, there's 28 currency pairs. There's a lot more than that, but 28, I'm going to call them main currency pairs. There's different names for them. But an example I have on the screen here is like USD CAD, US dollar compared to the Canadian dollar, the EUR JPY, the Euro compared to the Japanese yen, or GBP NZD, which is the British pound compared to the New Zealand dollar. Now, the image you're seeing is actually a pricing chart and I'm using what's called a free indicator. It's built right into every brokerage platform. It's called a moving average. That red line on the screen is simply a mathematical algorithm. And again, it's free. You just click, it shows up on the chart and it gives us a visual. And you can see that the green candles are the price going up. The red candles or the red lines, the green lines, red lines, the red candles are the price going down. But notice at some point down in the lower left hand corner, the price started to cross that moving average line, meaning it is going up. And obviously you can see visually with your own two eyes that the red line is pointing up. So guess what? That means the price is going up. If you bought anywhere, anywhere along this timeline, or maybe more importantly, if you bought pretty quick when the price moved above the line, you would have made a significant amount of money and all of this can be automated. So let's get into it a little bit deeper here. Number two, your bet or your bid can be from 10 cents up. You can bid 10 cents, you can bid $1,000. So your profits are simple math. I always say this, how much did you bid times how much did the price move in your bid direction, buy or sell? Now, obviously the red line, the moving average line is going up. If you look here in the lower left-hand corner, if we had placed a buy right there and then exited the trade when the price came down below that moving average line up in the upper right-hand corner, this is an actual live chart that I measured and took a screenshot, you would have earned what's called 1,875 pips. It's just a point of movement, really. And your bid amount, if you bid 10 cents, you multiply that by how far it moved. I said 1,875 pips. What's 10 cents times 1,875 pips? You would have made $187.50 minus a small fee of maybe 50 cents or something. It's not really that much. So in effect, you would have made over $180 profit in that move. Now, how long did that move last? If you look at the vertical dotted lines, each of those is a day. So if we entered the trade about midway through the first day, we would have been in the trade that first day, 
two days, three days, four days, five days later, we are in profit. Now let's go back and let's bid a big number. Let's say we bid $10 per pip or point of movement. And remember, we said it moved 1,875 pips. So listen to me here. It's simple math. I'm not making any income claims, but this is a real chart. We would have moved 1,875 pips if we entered a buy here in the lower left-hand corner. And if we exited the trade when the price moved below that red moving average line in the upper right-hand corner and we bid 10 cents, it's 1,800. And we bid $10 per pip, it's 1,875 pips times $10. We would have made $18,750 minus a few dollar fee. So that's an incredible income. And again, that happened over five days. And this happens every day, every week, every minute, over and over and over and over again. And you could have manually entered a buy right here and exited that buy up at the top and do the math. I mean, I'm not going to get all crazy here. I showed you the numbers if you bid 10 cents. I showed you the numbers if you bid $10. What if you bid 100? What if you bid 500? Sure, it's risky. Life is risky. Being born was risky. Walking out the front door is risky. And in fact, there's automated robots and ways, things that I use, where you could get into this trade at a very low, like 10 cents, and it will increase your bid as this thing moves up and moves up and moves up, and you would make an incredible amount of money. Not an income claim, just math. That's all this is. What's also interesting, if it was the inverse of this, if the price was going down, we would simply click the button, sell, and if it moved the same amount down, we'd make the same amount of money. Now, the next thing, number three here on this Forex overview, is they will tell you you need a trading strategy. You need a strategy, like this moving average line. I, I buy when the price moves up or the candle, green candle moves up above the red moving average line, and then I exit when the price starts to go the other way. Now, you can do that manually, or you can do it automated with a robot, also called an EA. EA stands for Expert Advisor. It's really just a programming language. It's a robot. You grab it, you drop it onto the chart, and it does essentially exactly what I'm telling you you could do in this particular case manually. Now, online business versus Forex business. I'm going to compare why someone would choose being in a Forex business, which is a business, and it creates profits, and you probably know where I'm going with this, is actually the best thing to do. But I'm going to make a comparison. Again, I've been in the affiliate marketing business over 20 years, and it is a tough business. Let's compare affiliate business to a Forex business. So affiliate business, I have to invest in a product. I have to typically go, if I want to make a $1,000 sale over and over and over again, because I can make $1,000 profits in Forex, but if I want to make a $1,000 sale, I have to invest in what's called a high ticket product. So I've got to buy something that I can sell. Now that right there adds a bunch of difficulty to it. I have to buy something. I have to learn it. I have to take the digital marketing course, and then I have to sell it. Hmm, That's a lot of work. Next, you have to buy and or build a website. You must have some way to present your links and your product and what you're selling on a website. You got to do that. That costs money. It takes time. You have to learn and do marketing. That's an entire profession. That's practically a, a master's degree in learning and doing marketing. So it's a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of years to learn that. And then you also have to learn and do advertising. You've got, to, you've got to go out there and you've got to work. You've got to do this social media. And I'm, I'm being very basic here. I probably could go on for hours and tell you all the things you need to do. But you need to learn and do advertising. That's a, that's a PhD in and of itself. You have to learn and do sales. You have to convince people to invest in a product like you did. And that's a lot of how it happens in the affiliate marketing business. You go buy a product that's really great educational tool. And then you can resell it to other people that are looking for that level of education. Next thing is you have to master the technical, all of the technical things. Just uploading a YouTube video is not just as easy as recording it on your phone and hitting upload. There's a lot of concepts behind mastering the technical. And then you've got to accept payments. You've got to create a merchant account. You've got to create a lot of connections with your website. You have to 
process refunds when someone wants a refund if you're selling something and or take money out of your profits if someone bought a product that you're an affiliate for and you earned a high ticket commission you've got to do refunds so there's a, there's a lot more to it but there's a lot that you can't deny that these are the things you have to do if you're going to be in an affiliate online digital marketing business but you also have to provide some sort of customer service. People are, they bought through you. You're out there. They're the person, they watched your marketing. They're on your email list. You're going to have to provide some customer service. Even if they bought a product that you're an affiliate for, they're going to come back to you and they're going to ask for some help. Now, in terms of Forex business, I'm not oversimplifying this. It's actually this simple. You open a broker account, which is free. It's, it's free. You just create a username and password and you got a broker account. You then install the free software that they give you. And that software shows like that chart I was showing before. It shows the pricing chart on all of the different currency pairs. And then you place buy and sell trades. You click buy or click sell based off of that strategy. Or like I said, an automated robot or EA expert advisor will do that for you. And then you take out the profits. Do, it, drop the microphone, walk away. That's it. Now, if you're not impressed by that, once I realized this, I went through a process where I was like, I'm mad that I did the affiliate marketing business for 20 years. No one told me. No one told me it could have been really easy because a business is a business is a business. Now, let's go into that a little bit further. Forex as a business. Listen to me carefully. This is one thing that I've told this to hundreds of people and they just don't know this. The definition of a business for tax deduction purposes, and listen, I'm, I'm based in the United States, so this is primarily valid for being in the United States, but the concept is the same and it's just this. The intent to make a profit. If you intend to sell something you actually never have to sell anything. You actually don't have to make a profit to be able to be in business and get the tax deductions. All you had to do was that one word, intent. I intend. For example, what would be your intent in a affiliate marketing business? You would go buy a course. Now you're in business, whether you sell one or not, and everything becomes a deduction that is related to your business. In Forex, what's the intent to make a profit? Open up a brokerage account, download the free software, put $5 into account and start trading it. Actually, I think the minimum is $10, but you get the point. So it's just the intent to make a profit. Now let's go a little bit deeper. And again, I'm not a financial advisor, tax savings. We're gonna talk about this. These are just facts that I know. I'm gonna plant the seed in your head and you can go out and look up this stuff a little bit farther and you should screenshot this when I'm done. But the first thing, like I said, the intent to make a profit allows you to deduct anything related to your business. That's just the tax law. That's how it works. You don't have to make a profit. You just had to intend to make a profit. Next. You can get a free EIN from the IRS.gov. Go get yourself an EIN, stands for Employee Identification Number, and this is what starts to separate you from your personal liability and your personal taxes. Next, this is really cool. A 508C1A, you can create one of these. It's called a faith-based organization. It's basically a ministry. You can start one. There's a ton of information online and it allows you to accept donations without paying taxes. Now, I'm being very basic here because you need to go out and educate yourself on this, but that is the basic foundation. Next here, you can set up a C-Corp or an LLC that won't be connected to your personal tax liability. It allows you to donate to your 508 C1A ministry and not pay taxes on your profits from your companies. A 508C1A can loan money to your C-Corp or LLC, paying your ministry interest. So I'm planting the seed here, not educating you fully on this, but I'm planting the seed because what I'm saying is I know to be a fact and to be true. And you can start a trust. You can store your money in it without having to pay taxes because you'll use that money for a future investment. That's the concept. So I've planted the seed. 
Obviously, what I'm saying is Forex is a great business to get into. Intent to make a profit is important to know. And then it's really actually easy to set up these different entities. You can go educate yourself on this and you're in business. You certainly could be profitable. I'm going to show you how to do that. You get the tax deductions. You're doing it legally. You're doing it properly. And I think it's one of the best things you can do. So let's talk about how to start your Forex business. Really kind of the entire point. Now that you know, it's obviously the best way to go. The first thing is you can do this. You can skip the learning curve and instead you can receive my daily profitable trades. I show you how to set up everything uh, or there's an option for me to do it all for you. So there's a link in the description field below or you can wait till the end of the video for some details and a link to where you can get more information. And then finally, the broker account is free. I've told you this, the software, it's free. And I provide full training on how to manage your account at any profit level you desire. You wanna make a dollar a day? Great. You're in business, you're making a dollar a day. You wanna make $5 a day? You wanna make $50 a day? You wanna make $500 a day? All of that is possible because like I said in bullet point number one here, I can send you, and I will, and I've built this system for myself, so I might as well plug you into it if you're interested, where I can send my daily profitable trades directly to your account. You can turn it up, you can turn it down, you can bid more, you can bid less, but guess what? Even if you put $10 in an account and you accepted one trade a day at 10 cents, you're in business making money, making profits, and now, rewind to everything I said, You've reduced your tax liability. You've learned something pretty awesome. And I think if you're really interested in it, you're going to go farther and potentially make yourself a lot of money. So that's it. If you found this video valuable, do me a favor, get on the subscription list, click subscribe, get in notifications because I'm pumping out videos like this. I really want to help people do what was difficult for me because they didn't tell me specifically the things I told you all in this video. It took me years to figure out all these pieces I just gave to you, and I give it to you in a short video here. Click the thumbs up, save this video to your favorites, go back to the screen where I talked about the 508C1A, setting up your own ministry or faith-based organization. It's a terrific tax savings, and that's really just one piece of it. So that's it. Go down to the description field. If you're on mobile, just click the title and the description field will open. If you're watching this on desktop, you'll see the description field below. Click the link to my website and go plug into this automated system I've built and you can be in business in a Forex business immediately. And I'm here to help you. So that's it. I hope to see you in the next video.